Hello and welcome to our second tutorial in this series. Today's lesson will be based on the interface, but we'll be focusing more on the viewports since we'll be spending quite a lot of time on them. I know we haven't got around to making objects yet, but I'll be creating one just for the purpose of this tutorial. Now let's go ahead to our command panel, which is on the right. Uh, you should find it in this state and uh, click on teapot. If not, you might find it on maybe something like this. Just click on create and then let's go down to teapot. Once that's selected, make sure it's got a yellow color around it. And then from here, click within the perspective viewport around the middle or anywhere you feel comfortable. Click and drag from the inside out. Now the more you drag, the bigger the bigger object gets. But I want it to be I want to use something around that size. And uh, as you can see from our viewports, uh, we've got the top, front, left and perspective here. Uh, all these three are showing the sides in 2D whilst we have the 3D object appear in our perspective window. Now within each viewport, we have this little transparent box here known as the view cube. This allows us to control the viewport in a specific way. For example, if I click on the front tab here, this rotates my scene accordingly. I can also use the arrows on the sides to rotate my scene. Now whilst doing this, if you happen to get lost, whilst hovering on your view cube, there's a small home button on the top. So you just click on that and this takes you back to your original position or whatever you set as your home view. To set a home view, all you need to do is right click on that little home button and then set either the current view as home or as whatever you want to set it as. You can also rotate the scene in free form by clicking and dragging your view cube around. This gives you more control of your scene. Now if you want to return to the original position, and uh, don't forget to use our home button here. Now apart from that, you can also rotate the scene by clicking on the compass down here. Move your mouse from left to right and this will rotate it without affecting the up and down movement. Now if you want to customize your view cube, just go to the views menu at the top, view cube, go down to properties and this will allow you to control how your view cube looks and appears on your screen. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll leave it as we found it. Another way to control or view a scene is by using the steering wheel. If yours is activated already, we can get the steering wheel by going to views, steering wheels, toggle steering wheels, and that brings up our steering wheel. But I'll close that for a second and show you a much easier way to bring it up. Just hold down shift and press the letter W on your keyboard if you're on a PC. And this brings up our steering wheel. What this allows you to do is do things like zoom on your object. So as soon as you let go, the steering wheel comes back up. You can orbit around the object. You can pan if you want to. And then you can also rewind to whatever views you previously used whilst making your object. But I'll close that for a second. Um, I don't normally tend to use that as much. I tend to rely more on a view cube here. But if you want to use the steering wheel, then you can also customize that by going to views, 
viewport configuration and then go to steering wheels on the far right this will allow you to modify it according to how you want it to appear on the screen but I'm just gonna hit console for now now apart from using the view cube and the steering wheels uh, there's a much easier way to control or navigate through our viewport now we do this by using our mouse to zoom in for example all you need to do is scroll up and to zoom out you scroll down that's as easy as it gets now to pan around the screen just press and hold your mouse scroll button and then move your mouse around and that allows us to pan the scene now one important function left is rotate how we do that is by holding down alt on our keyboard and then press the mouse scrolling button and that allows us to rotate so with with the mouse you can do almost everything or most of the functions that we looked at the view cube and the steering wheel and now remember we've got zoom by scrolling up and down pan by clicking and dragging our scroll button and finally to rotate hold alt whilst holding down the scroll button and then you rotate the scene you can mix a lot of these techniques if you want to be more effective at using the program so play around with what we've learned in this tutorial until you understand how the viewports work since this is quite an important part of, of creating objects thanks for tuning in and I'll see you in the next lesson